The dangers associated with the coronavirus are very real for the Republican mayor of New Haven. Steve McMichael is doing much better now, but last fall he battled the effects of COVID-19 for months. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer is live outside New Haven City Hall with more on a challenge McMichael never counted on having to overcome in his new job. Jeff? Yeah, Tom, Linda, you know, Mike McMichael took office uh, as the leader of City Hall here in 2020 in this small town. He knew there would be a, a period of adjustment as he learned the ropes, if you will. But he did not expect the, uh, that he would be distracted by a virus that simply would not let up. McMichael says on October the 5th, during a senior staff meeting, he noticed something just wasn't right. He got up, left the meeting, eventually got checked out by a couple of public safety officials nearby who wanted to make sure he was going to be okay. He went home, never seriously considering that he might have the coronavirus. It wasn't long, though, before he got tested, just in case, and sure enough, the results came back positive. He came back to work, but the illness wouldn't release its grip on him. Around Thanksgiving, uh, he was uh, taken by ambulance to Parkview Regional Medical Center and spent a few days in the hospital claiming that he went in, st went in struggling to breathe. It affects everybody differently. Mm -hmm. And you talk to some people who have no symptoms, yet you talk to some people that have had long-lasting symptoms that still have not fully recovered. You relieved uh, that they're finally coming out with the vaccinations and people can finally feel uh, have a little bit of defense for the first time? A abs absolutely, absolutely. And when it's my turn to get the vaccination, I will be there for sure. Now, Mayor McMichael insists after that stint in the hospital, he's been on the road to recovery. He says the last few weeks, he feels nearly 100% again. The outcome not good for LaGrange County Commissioner Larry Miller. November the 3rd, Election Day, Miller came down with COVID, spent nearly 60 days in intensive care with severe symptoms. He was released around Christmas time, but died of COVID-related complications last week. Flags were flown at half staff outside the government building there to mark his passing. The stark differences uh, in how the coronavirus impacts those infected, surely one of the major frustrations, Tom and Linda, that all of us are experiencing in this pandemic. Definitely, Jeff. Thanks for the update on the mayor there and, and your story. Thank you.